Il-2 with the suspended 37mm cannons made its debut in summer 1943 at Kursk. Its maneuverability was a bit reduced, however, a cannon of such a caliber was a serious anti-tank weapon. Down we go, down we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, bomb out on the flag panzer. No, Stuka! Have you guys been watching Wings of Russia? Let me know, comments below. If you haven't, in this comment section, if, and if I forget, let me know. I'm going to post a playlist with an 18-part series on all the Russian, a lot of the Russian aircraft. It's one of the best aircraft documentaries I've ever watched. To all those who dedicated their lives to aviation, <laughs> the commentator is really good at it. Like, he just hooks you in. Uh, at least me. But I just finished the attacker uh, episode, and they went full in on the IL-2. I mean, when you think of Russia aviation, Russia war World War II, what do you think of? A Yak-3? Yak-7? Maybe a Chaika or the IL-2. The IL-2 to Russia is like the P-51 to America or the B-17 or the 109 to Germany and the Zero to Japan. Or maybe it's the Po-2. What we have here, guys, is an IL-2 but modified with twin 37 millimeters. And I really haven't appreciated the IL-2s as much as I should in this game. Primarily, they're very easy to kill, but that's mainly if you use the 3.3 ones. You kind of get up here, and at 3.3, a lot of aircraft start having cannons. And cannons in IL-2 does not go together. However, small caliber 7.5, 7.7s, it likes it. And even some, even times 50 cows, it likes it. And the reason why it likes it is because it's kind of hard to shear these wings off with 7.7s. And then the only guy, bless his heart, that might get ruined here is the gunner, right? So what you have here is your engine's pretty much protected, protected if they're at decent range. Your pilot's pretty protected. And if they're not shooting proper, this guy has a steel plate here. If they're not shooting here and they're shooting here, you have a very high chance of just staying alive and just being able to dish out this 50 cal. Guys, it's 150 cal, but it's really effective at 2.3. So we have twin 37s. Now, the really cool thing about these 37s, they're really accurate. You can kind of hold the button down for quite a bit. However, what I've noticed is that they don't really, they're the 37s on aircraft have a FIFA slider. Like, like they're, they're toned down. So, even though that the like even though you think that would shred a vehicle apart like it would get all the crew it really doesn't because ammo radio boxes human beings block these 37s from passing on to other crew members so ground strike in this aircraft is um it, you can definitely get kills but it's not as effective as you think it's it's more of a luck thing. And, and you'll see some passes today where you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, Fly's definitely going to get this guy. And just somehow he stays alive. Um, the 37s don't have that much mustard, uh, but they do work. They just take a little bit of time. And when they do, it's extremely pleasing. Fellas, thanks for hanging out. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, let's go to the right side. Get the cannons online. Look at this thing. Let's get nice and low. Wow, okay, we've got three enemy planes up. There's a German IL-2. Ooh. 
We have to stay hidden. That's the weird thing with this. Oh, this plane is so sick. My L2 is one of my favorite aircrafts ever built. Ever. It's just, it's just, it's just so raw. All right, let's move in for our first attack run. And if we do have the opportunity, we, we will be going for planes. Okay, nice, good. One more right there. No, Stuka! Okay, so uh, three planes are destroyed. By the way, that slice, that, that, that slice on the IL-2's wing was just per that, that's that's kind of one of the main reasons why I play War Thunder. It's, it's just for that. That's just so satisfying. Okay, two more enemy planes up. Plane is still good. We've got some holes, but the armor has saved us. Engine's good. Pilots are good. Uh oh. I kind of hear a noise. Nope. Okay. False alarm. Now, how are we going to win? I don't think we're going to win. But let's just see how much more fun we can have. Low to the ground. Let's see. Oh, God, we, we got Wurble win. Oof. Yeah, I... I let's give a little bit more here. They're all just Wurble wins. I was like, where's this noise coming from? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a little love tap. <laughs> no, we're gonna win. Stop it, yes. Absorb the 20 mils. Guess one of my six? No, okay. All right, so so much for uh, ground striking here. I might be able to sit up on this uh, fighter. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Well, it, it is a fighter, I guess, but it's, it's pretty much the German A-10. There's, there, there's a lot of German A-10s here. Oh, man, that, my, my, my left wing's pretty damaged here. Oh, go home with the wing. <laughs> okay, okay. Sauce. Oh! 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 Still alive! Oh! Wait, wait, wait! Let me just cool off real quick. Let me just cool off. Yep, there we go. Now. Hey! All right, pilot's still alive. Oh. Be nice next game not to verse the Werble wins. Okay, now we, we do have bombs that we probably should drop. Bomb bay doors are open. These are single droppers. This plane looks pretty aggro on me. We're going to make a run on Alpha. What a fantastic plethora of enemies at A. Oh, nice. P-51's in here. It's an Allison. Rolling in. Okay, 
I really can't. Yeah, okay, we, we've got some. Wow, check this out, guys. Okay, bomb out on the flag panzer. Rolling back around. A lot of enemies open field. Down we go, down we go. Beautiful. That is just so fun right there. Okay, enemy plane looks like a bomber. Don't have to worry about it. Got an SPD taken off from the carrier. I would call him Chad, but they, I think they make you do that. Or it's just a default, default one. Got a Poomer. Stationary. Wow! Direct engine shot with a 37. Yellow. That's unfortunate. Mm. Just a little spot. SU-22. You gotta see him. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, at least we're able to get out of there a little bit. Now, with these 37s and that thing, I should be able... Oh, oh my gosh. I, I thought that was a main caliber coming in. Ooh, I think the M22 got my guy? Is, is that right? Yeah, uh-oh. But the Stu got him. Oh, a little more altitude. Not too much shrapnel. Good shot, though. Boom was like, hey, get out of here. No longer have advantage. 64 rounds of ammo. The B, the SPD is almost here. Okay, we're going to change our approach up. I just, I just want a little more mustard with these 37s. A little more mustard. Okay, we're going to find that Puma who was kind of gunning at me. He actually might have that smoke on right now. This is not a Puma, this is an anti-air. Beautiful. It's gonna be late, it's gonna be late, it's gonna be late, it's gonna be late, and we're angled, and we're angled. All right, nice, good job. I'm just really surprised of how long. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna open my mouth. Keep the engines cool. We got three kills, 52 rounds of 37s to go. And we've got new inbound, new inbound. Come on, Isle. Let's go, let's go. Really can't help you too much. Excellent. 
Okay, we're gonna go same routine. Not getting the best angles on that run. Now where's that Falco Wolf? Is, he sounds like he's on me. There he is. Boys! We're gonna have some company here. I mean, I'm, I'm not asking for much. I'm just saying if, 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 if I shoot engine, like, make it, make it stop working. I'm just pretty impressed of how long we've survived. Look at that. You see that shrapling on, on that one, that one? See that shrapling on that one driver shot? It just like went in and went out. I don't know. Is this just a heavy fighter and not, not a ground striker at all? Because against planes, it's absolutely fantastic. We're going to set up for planes here. <laughs> Ready to go. Get these bombs out of here. Don't need these. Okay, we've got three, four, four enemy planes up. I don't think this guy sees me. I mean, I don't know what's the love about that. The 50 cal in here, at this battle rating, is just... It's, it's a better fight. It, it's, it's a better heavy fighter than Ground Striker. Only in War Thunder. Imagine that. A single 50 cal is more effective than 237s. Come on, boys, let's win this one. Oh, that was a smoke shell. It's just really impressive how long you survive in the IL-2 when you're not really versing cannons. Because that steel around the engine in pilot really keeps you alive. Uh-oh. We got, we got proper guns in front. Okay, right here. Wish I had my smoke grenade. Oh, okay, that's a bomb. Okay. Nice and easy does it. Hey, Petey, how's it going, buddy? What's up? 
Uh, oh, no, no, okay. Friend, friend, friend. Nice comeback by the enemy team. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And now he's like, that guy's gone. We're just going to forget about him. <laughs> I think that's, I think that's how we'll play it. We'll use the IL-237, taking out as many planes as possible, and then, if we're able to, then we'll go for ground strike. That's the way to do business with this thing. Just nice. Out. Way too high. <laughs> Fellas, hope you've enjoyed this video on the IL-237 Heavy Fighter because that's where it's most effective at 2.7. It's marvelous. Ground striking, average. You would really think with 237s you would have more potent potential, but it's just not there. The 37s get absorbed by flesh, which, you know, we're just going to skip on that part. You just see it, like, enter the vehicle and get stopped by a foot or an arm or shoulder. It could be realistic in a different universe. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.